I'd like to welcome you and thank you for taking interest at our hand fellowship here at Ortho Carolina. We are one of the largest independent orthopedic groups in the country. As a proud Charlottean, you know, we're proud of the fact that we're a big city still with the small town feel. There's a lot of things that make this program unique, and one is our sole focus on fellowship education. And so we devote our time with our fellows just to giving a real fellow first experience. I think one of the greatest strengths of our program is the breadth and diversity of care that we provide for the entire upper extremity. Everything from shoulder injuries to brachial plexus, elbow surgery, all the way down to the hand. We have specialty clinics and brachial plexus injuries, special care for amputees, congenital patients, we have a plastic surgery focus. So I can honestly say between all the faculty members here and the experience that the fellows will get, that there's not anything in the upper extremity that you wouldn't be able to take care of by the end of your year training with us. I was the Ortho Carolina Military Fellow this year, so every year they have a tradition of having one military fellow, either from Army, Navy, or Air Force. We are family here and you get that when you get to come and go to Dr. Gaston's house and meet all the faculty. We do monthly logic sessions with Dr. Gaston and Dr. Lewis, and these sessions teach you to understand hand and wrist kinematics and pathology in a way that you've never experienced before. I learned more about the hand and wrist in that three-hour session than I had in any of my previous training for years prior. The case volume of the fellows and the case diversity is second to none of any of the programs in the country. I came out of fellowship confident and prepared to take anything that comes my way. You learn to think in a way that you never have before. There are a lot of things that make our hand and upper extremity fellowship unique. The relationships that are formed and the camaraderie that exists, not just between the fellows, but also between the fellows and the mentors. We really do work well together. We're all colleagues, we're all friends. We interact outside of work, and that shows throughout the year. We do have a very fun and unique group of staff members, and it's from that that we really try to drive the fellowship to be a work hard, play hard avenue. Once every other month, I try to take the fellows out to dinner. The atmosphere here is very team oriented. The attitude is work hard, play hard, and we all enjoyed our time with each other and also with the faculty here. My clinical practice includes the depth of hand surgery, but also a plastic and reconstructive surgery, orthoplastic approach to soft tissue reconstruction. My goal is to provide each and every fellow with adequacies in microsurgical reconstruction, both of the upper and lower extremity. I loved my year with the Carolina. I I thought it was engaging, I thought it was challenging, and I learned so much. As I began practice, uh, I found that there's really no surgery that I'm not prepared to do. I'd say that if I had to sum up North Carolina Fellowship in one word, it was a family. It's more than just learning how to operate and do hand surgery, it's about becoming a triple threat surgeon where uh, the teaching aspect and the research aspect and the surgical skills and decision making are all wrapped up into one year of immersive education. Our curriculum includes many lessons, some of which are in the operating rooms, others in the clinics. What I am most proud of is also what we teach in terms of cohesiveness of our team and how you can rely on each other throughout the good times and the bad times. The nice thing about my practice and the month that you'll spend with me is kind of a good blend of what a real kind of generalist hand surgeon practice would look like. I think it gives you a good flavor. Some months you'll do more shoulder with Dr. Loeffler. Other months you'll do more flat surgeries like with Dr. Garcia. For myself, when you're with me out in the community, you'll see a lot of arthritis cases, as well as doing your complex fractures and trauma work. There are really no shortage of cases or patients for you to see during the year. When you leave here, you feel comfortable taking care of the complex to simple hand problems. So during these times, we know residents and fellows have been quite anxious about the future, particularly the level of training that they may have. Through this entire process, we have not missed a beat. We've had virtual educational conferences. We've continued with surgeries and continue to do so, and we expect to do so in the future. If you're the type of fellow that's looking for a program that's got a team-based feel, your education is individualized for you, and a program that really focuses on your education and doesn't need you just for labor, then this is the right program for you. So I'm really proud of the program that we've created over these last seven years, and again, we look forward to meeting you virtually.